Hey what's up guys it's Dragon here from the Brotherhood of the Stag and today I've got a video for you just well it's about headshots how to get easy headshots in Black Ops 3 now the gameplay I'll just talk a little bit about that so this is um, it's kill confirmed as you can see there just from the tags on the map Redwood and I'm using the the Weevil with um, I believe it's a recon site. I, I keep forgetting the names of uh, the sites and well, some of the sites in here because you know the red dot got renamed. But um, you know, this this is the second site that you unlock for the weapons. Uh, and yeah, so let's talk about how to get easy headshots in Black Ops Three. Um, so the the first thing you want to do is basically put a put a sight on your gun there's a couple of exceptions but the majority of the time you're gonna find it a hell of a lot easier running an optic so in this particular gameplay as I mentioned um, I am running the the second second optic that you unlock uh, and I've got the 500 kills which is why you can see the the reticle that I'm, I'm using there um, and I find that is actually a very good way to get headshots I don't know why but I find that particular site very good better than the the standard re uh, than the the standard well, reticle that it comes with but definitely better than uh, the the red dot site for some reason in this game. Um, I also really like the the elo site. I think that is probably the best when it comes to to getting headshots by far. Um, probably because it is it is so so open. And with it being so open, you, there's nothing obstructing your view and so forth. So uh, you you are able to. To basically aim for their head a lot easier uh, and not have to worry about it so that that is basically what I'd recommend in terms of your your optics for the gun uh, obviously with the the SMG like the weevil here that I'm using I'm not going to be running high caliber but if you're running an assault rifle or anything along those lines then high caliber is definitely beneficial uh, running that on something like the, the M8A7 which kind of you know with its recoil pattern aim for the upper chest um, neck area you're going to get a, a headshot automatically but with that with high caliber uh, and, and um, you know the recoil there it's it's pretty much kind of guaranteed that you'll get a headshot if you aim for for that upper chest neck area um, so definitely definitely throw on high caliber whenever you can uh, if you're going for those headshots at least uh, the rest of the time not necessary in my opinion but um, it helps when you're going for that dark matter uh, dark matter and gold and of course diamond so that that would be probably the most beneficial uh, attachment um, other than than grip and that is literally because we want to well we, we want to to reduce the recoil we want to know exactly where we're aiming um, something like the Vespa for example though I don't use any attachments on the Vespa if I'm going for uh, for headshots maybe rapid fire and maybe um, what's it called oh god it's gone out the window now uh, gri not grip uh, rapid fire and extended mags um, that is well that's because the Vespa becomes a beast with that but I let the recoil on the Vespa do its own work now that is I don't know, maybe contradictory to the rest of it but the recoil on the Vespa I find if you just aim at their chest sort of like mid to upper chest the recoil is just going to spray it upwards and you're going to get the headshot so you can go sort of like you know 15 headshots in a, in a match if you're going for 15 if you get yourself 15 kills um, you could easily get 15 headshots but that's not going to be necessarily the the same every single time but the Vesper is great for getting its own headshots um, yeah but grip in general shove that on with that elo sight you can see exactly where you're aiming and what you're going to aim at and you'll be able to control the recoil a lot better so that 
UI, basically that is an absolutely terrible kill. Uh, so you'll be able to control that recoil better in order to sort of almost guarantee that headshot. Um, so yeah, as far as attachments go, get an optic. One that you like, but for me, go for that elo. Uh, put on grip and then put on high caliber when you can. Um, the rest of the attachments, more whatever you like, really, it's they're not essential. Um, but that that's that's going to be headshots for the majority of, of the weapons there. Obviously, when it comes to sniper rifles, that's kind of self-explanatory. You want to aim at their head when you pull the trigger. Yeah, I know, surprise. Um, damn. Anyway. The, the only other class, I guess, that um, we need to really talk about would be the the shotguns, because there are two shotguns which you're going to need to get a, a well headshots with in order to complete your challenges, and that is the um, the Haymaker, so the, the automatic shotgun, and also the Brecky, and that's because neither of them have a one, one shot kill range. Um, so the Brecky and the the Haymaker, they they run slightly differently. Um, with the with the Haymaker, uh, I sort of tend to again do do something similar to to the Vespa and sort of aim sort of chest um, area and go upwards uh, and then get the headshot that way. Uh, with the with the Brecky. Um, I believe there's a, a video that Drifter did uh, on his in-depth series uh, where he talks about aiming slightly above the head. Uh, I find that actually works extremely well when paired with laser sight. You sort of aim head slightly up um, and then just hit fire the shit out of it. Just frankly, uh, and that that gets me the headshots, and you know you can you can do a decent amount per game. Um, I have to make a conscious effort to go for headshots. Like, it doesn't happen unless I'm going, alright, in this game I'm going to go for headshots. Um, in this particular game, I'm not sure if I did actually, uh, but you know, I, I like the gameplay and it is running a setup which I, I do normally use for headshots, but I think I was going to go for headshots and then thought, screw it, I'm just going to... Uh, the spray and pray with these guys, but yeah. So go for those headshots. You'll be able to get your dark matter pretty quickly once you get those headshots out of the way. Unfortunately, in Black Ops Three, you can't do the other challenges until you get those hundred headshots. But that's all good. With this sort of setup, we can get them pretty easily, uh, and the. Then when it comes to your bloodthirsties and long shots and so forth, they are, they're just going to come naturally. You just, uh, again, make a slight conscious effort, like I said. Uh, I need to when it comes to headshots. If I don't, I tend to just get chest shots uh, because I'm actually going for, for the kills, like, like there. Um, but if I go for those headshots, elo sight in particular, high caliber and grip, um, will allow me to to sort of just make sure that I got my my shots on point uh, and that's you know I'm giving myself a, a headshot kill nice and easy uh, for the rest of this gameplay I'm just gonna let it run out so you can enjoy it it doesn't have too long to go now only 30 seconds but until next time have a good one and I will catch you later Crushed it.